Hi YouTubers, welcome back to my channel, Little Boy Blush, and today I have a Mac haul for you. Um, I bought this over a space of two days, um, I think it was Friday and Saturday. Yes, it was Friday and Saturday. Um, Debenhams in Cardiff, where I live, had a sale on, a 10% sale. So I thought, um, why not go and take advantage of that? So I popped in and I got, first of all, I picked up some brushes, which I was quite excited about. Um, at the moment, there's a extra dimension collection out with MAC, which has sort of um, sort of new eyeshadows out, new highlighting powders, which sort of remind me of the Metal X collection, where they're like sort of raised up and, um, but it's meant to be like a liquid cream, a liquid powder sort of jazz going on. I didn't pick up any of the um, the eyeshadows or the highlighting powders. I picked up the brushes from there. And the first one I picked up was the 128. Okay, and they are double-sided. Okay, and these are re-promotes, I believe, from another collection. I'm not sure which one, but these are re-promotes. And this is sort of like a blusher-type a blusher type brush. Okay, let me turn it on this way. Sort of a Cruella de Vil sort of style going on here. Okay, and I'm a massive fan of brushes, so I just couldn't leave them there when I seen them. So I've got this one here. And I've also got the um, 234, which is a eyeshadow brush. Okay, which is sort of synthetic hair on one side and then real hair on the other side. So I think the whole point behind it is, is like you um, use the synthetic hair to pick up the powder and then the real hair to blend it in apparently so it's meant to be like double use the brush you know you instead of picking up another brush you can use the other side of it to um you know to blend so one to apply and one to blend type thing so yeah they were really cute i think one of them the i1 was 16 and the the blush one was £23, I believe, because of the discount as well. So, yeah, so I have those. And um, the next thing I bought was a new um, 217 from MAC. Oh, this way. 217. Okay. And this is my fourth 217? My fourth 217, yeah. Um, so, these are just really good brushes. They're really good, really versatile, you know, so... You can never have too many of these. They're just amazing. So yeah, but I'm not going to use this one. I'm just going to keep this one as a backup in my um, sort of makeup kit type thing, you know, just in case. And the next thing I bought was the 286 from MAC, okay, which is their dual fiber brush that came out with the semi-precious collection originally, I think, and then it became permanent. Okay, I already have one of these already, but I'm so impressed with it. I bought another one, I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, so this will also stay just in the bag until, yeah, I'm ready to use that. Um, right, the next thing I bought was Skin Finish Naturals in the colour Medium Plus, I think this one is. Yeah, Medium Plus, okay. Because I have, um, I think I have Dark, I have Give Me Sun, and Sun Power. So I start, I'm going to start working my way back, hopefully, towards the light. Work, work, so sort of my kit has everything in it and all the different colours um, over time, you know, which is quite good. So yeah, I grabbed that. And then the next thing I grabbed was two eyeshadows from MAC, which I'm going to get out now. Um, I grabbed ha handwritten, okay, which is like this sort of deep, chocolatey, dark brown colour. Okay, and I picked up, sort of that, brulee, 
Okay. Which is this nice highlight colour here. I grab that as well. Those two. And then I grabbed a pencil in the colour Boldly Bear, I think it's called. Yeah, Boldly Bear. Okay. Which is this sort of colour here. There we go. Grab that. And then I grabbed a lipstick in the colour Jubilee. Okay. Which is sort of like a nude sort of brown nude colour. Oops, easy. And then I got um, this Mac Mineralized Charged Water. I always have the Fix Plus, but I really like the look of this. And I went to buy it online, but it was sold out. So I got this from Mac, the Mac actual store, which is just a hydrating mist sort of water. And then I bought a Mac um, palette, um, like a. Uh, blusher palette, okay, which I have one blush in here No, this is actually a sculpting powder not a blush um, from Mac Pro So I have one of those in there, which is very nice And I also have a very very sad tale for you um, I'd also got um, a blush in the colour Tenderly and a lip gloss in Moth to a Flame. Now, I went to two separate places to get these stuff. I went to um, the Mac and Debenhams, and we also have a Mac Pro. Um, and I had one bag, which was a paper bag. So when I originally found, got the blushes, the, the, sorry, when I originally got the brushes, the girl said, do you want a small bag or a big bag? And I was like, a small bag, please. I didn't think I was going to get anything else. But then I went over to the other Mac and ended up getting more stuff. So when I was in the other Mac, a friend of mine said to me, do you want a bag? And I went, oh no, don't worry, I'll fit it all in here. So I crammed it all in the same bag and because the bag's a paper, obviously I had too much stuff in here. The bag had split on the side, I hadn't noticed. And obviously on the way I got home, the moth to a flame and the tenderly had fallen out through, one, through the bag. And I was absolutely devastated. So they'd fallen out somewhere. I hadn't heard, I hadn't heard them hit the ground or anything, or you know. I just didn't notice that they'd fallen out until I'd actually got home. So that was really sad. So two products of <laughs> mine fell out of the bag in the street and I didn't have them when I got home. I was ever so upset. But life goes on, unfortunately. But that is my sad story of the day because, yeah, two products which I had actually fell out of the bag and I was very upset about it. So, yeah. so that's it from my Mac haul. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and if you have any questions about any of the products, um, please let me know. And when you do ask me, when you do leave comments on my videos, if you do, if you have a question, put question marks after it. Because I never know what's questions and what's not. Like I, some people like write stuff on I think they intend them to be questions but I don't get their questions and I don't reply to them back so if you want a question if you just put question marks after I'll definitely know there's a question I'll definitely know then to um to reply to you okay on the comments bit I hope you enjoyed this video today and thank you very much